it's counter. it's unbelievable. I, I have studied Denny and studied Denny, and um, I mean, I, I can. I, I'm pretty sure last year, both Daytona races, I was like, okay, the 11 car somehow finds its way to the end, and and I I wrecked both Daytona races, and I'm pretty sure I was around the 11 car both times. Uh, you were, you were right behind him in the 500, weren't you? When the I I'm pretty sure, like I said, hey, I'm just gonna do what Denny does because he's won it three times um, and if I remember right that was a couple of the Speedway races last year I, it might have been the two Daytonas maybe a Talladega I don't know but yeah I mean there's definitely a, a knack to it you know Denny's won it three times um, and, and guys that get good at Speedway racing somehow some way are able to, to duplicate it. Justin Marks painted a, a stretch of asphalt at the track house place the distance between where Chastain finished to Joey just to so they would be reminded of the distance between finishing first and second to win the championship what exercises have you gone through because I mean you know it, it's quite a meteoric rise for you to be where you're at and then make the championship four right I mean it was a very quick ascent for you what are you looking at what have you looked at so you're more prepared going into this year's playoffs um you know i the phoenix race it, i don't i don't look at it you know it, we were in position to win the championship and the yellow flag came out and you know we had a miss a, a mishap on pit road so kind of throwing that one out the window and certainly we know that we needed to do a better job at Phoenix, uh, but ultimately in the end, we, we put ourselves in position. Um, the biggest thing is the regular season, trying to accumulate more points and more playoff points, and the only way to do that is by winning stages and winning races. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's our big focus is executing the regular season a little bit better to make our playoff run easier. I'm sorry if somebody's already asked this, but you're no longer, when it comes to Joe Gibbs Racing, you're, not the, you're no longer the new kid on the block. How does that does it feel kind of knowing that I know it's only like your third year, but does it kind of feel good knowing you have like a veteran status now with GGR? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I don't know. Ty, maybe he feels like I did whenever I came in, but I would assume it's a little bit different because he's been around Martin and he's been around Denny for so long as you know being a part of the Gibbs family uh, that I'm sure that he doesn't feel like a, a total rookie coming in. Um, so. In a way, I still feel like the new guy with two veterans and, and, and Ty being fam, family with Gibbs. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be a fun a fun season to see how he progresses. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's really talented. You say he's gotten to know Mark and Denny, but has he came to you at all when it comes to advice? Um, yeah, I mean, he has for sure. He's asked, you know, a couple questions. But each driver learns differently. And, and you know, I'm not a big question guy, so – you know, if you ask Martin or Denny how many times I've come to them for advice, they'd probably say not many. Uh, but, you know, so everyone learns differently. And, um, you know, he, me and Ty have a great relationship. And, and you know, he, I uh, enjoy being around him. And I'm going to enjoy having him as a teammate. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.